Irma? Yeah? Okay. Is that, is that fun for you? Oh, yeah. You shivered me timbers. Are you sure? Because you, you seem like you weren't really into it. No, no, no. I always love Pirate Night. Because I can drop the whole buried treasure No, thing. that's my favorite part. Okay. The X could mark a different spot from time to time. What? Nothing. Sat on the parrot. <laughs> Is Stavos getting a little hippie, or is it the pants? Jane, focus. My sex life is in crisis. I don't understand why you're so upset. Nothing's really changed. Are you kidding? How would you feel if you were 99% sure you were going to have sex on the beach tonight? Sweaty. A little nervous. I'm just saying there's things we're better off not knowing. Like what? Like, would it ruin it for you if you found out that Stavros was a doctor back home and he was just working here until he got his American license? Are you saying Stavros is smart? He's a surgeon. You take that back. He's dumb and hunky and you know it. See, nothing's changed, but now it doesn't work for you, right? No, it doesn't. Why would you do that? Just trying to make a point. Stavros, come here. Where is my medulla oblongata? Coming right up. We make fresh for you. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. So the doctor says, kiss you, Mrs. Johnson. I shouldn't even be doing this. <laughs> That's not the way I heard it. The way I heard it, the woman's name was Mrs. Taylor. Really? And how'd that one go? Well, there was this woman, Mrs. Taylor, and she goes to visit her gynecologist. Would you two stop? It's the same damn joke. Jiminy Christmas. What crawled into your pup tent? You're not still bent out of shape because I beat you, are you? No, I don't care about that. Because I didn't cheat. I said I didn't care. Well, except on 14, but you knew that. Pete. Well, Where's that ball you lost in the woods? No, I don't care about the golf. It's Dharma and me. We're just having a little trouble. It's it's not important. What kind of trouble? Your house looks clean. <laughs> it's personal, all right? Ah, uh, the honeymoon's over, huh? No, we still have sex all the time. It's just the last couple of weeks she seemed detached. But you still have sex all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and your house is still clean. <laughs> Can we please not talk about this? Look, son, I've been married a long time uh, to your mother. <laughs> and one thing I've learned is that passion comes and goes. And when it goes, you've got to stay the course. Stay the course? Stay the course. Do your duty as a husband, and someday her passion will return. How long does that take? I'll let you know. <laughs> This is Mrs. Taylor. She's up in the Hi. Hey. For you. Thank you. This is unexpected. What's the occasion? No occasion, just because I love you. Wow, this is so spontaneous of you. <laughs> Hey, you know what I was thinking? How would I know what you were thinking? <laughs> Why don't we take a little drive, maybe down the coast, get some linguine at that little place on the pier? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, it would be. And maybe afterwards we can take a walk down by the water. And make love on the beach? See, you well, did know what I was thinking. I'll get the blankets. No, oh God, when will this nightmare end? <laughs> So you had sex on the beach? Mm-hmm, and it was really romantic. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what should I do, Abby? Greg has scheduled every moment of our sex life. Well, not consciously, Dharma. It's not his fault, it's just his nature. Come on. Are you telling me Greg is pre-programmed to sip champagne out of my belly button every time PBS has a fundraising drive? <laughs> Looks that way. Should I say something to him? <laughs> what would you tell him? 
I don't know. It's hard to get all worked up about a guy sucking on your toes when you know he's only doing it because his car got waxed. Those don't sound like helping words, Dharma. Well, isn't there anything I can do? Forgive me for suggesting behavior modification, but maybe there's a way that you could gently sway him from his schedule. If that doesn't work? Then you find a way to love him. Flaws and all. <laughs> No, Gene, I can't tonight. It's movie makeout night. No, I can't say anything to him. I might traumatize him. I care. Well, I'm going to try some subtle behavior modification. Dharma, movie starting. Oh, coming. I got to go. Sorry, phone call. That's okay. We've got all night. <laughs> Were you a 